Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for clicking on today's video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jess and welcome. Hope you're gonna subscribe and stick around for a while. And for my subbies, what's up? Like, it's been a hot minute since I've done a favorites video. So I wanna start doing that back even though I'm freaking late, as usual. This is gonna be a mixture of makeup, gym stuff, regular stuff it's not just beauty related so if you guys want to see what i've been loving for the month of march keep watching this video <laughs> I'm gonna start off with skincare since I have so much more skincare than makeup and anything else. Oh, my nose is itching. I am doing a foundation first impression slash review on the foundation I'm wearing right now on the face. So if you guys wanna know what I'm wearing, check my description box or if I've already uploaded this video, I will annotate it up into this video so you guys can check it out. Um, the lippy that I'm wearing on the lips is a mess around from ColourPop which is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks from them. First thing for skincare will be this bad boy right here. Beauty Shop Drops of Youth. I've only used this, I want to say about four times since I've gotten it in February. And it basically is a youth liquid peel. So basically you take two pumps of this, clean, dry face of course. My nose is itching. Why? Uh, and you basically rub this into the face until you start getting like balls up i guess dirt or whatever or dead skin will start to like ball up on the face and you do that all over and then you wash your face off and you will leave with smooth baby bottom smooth face it's basically these kind of liquid peels you don't use every day you use them like once or twice a week so basically it says it's transforming gel to peel technology that traps and gently peels off impurities pollutants and dead skin cells to unveil healthy looking bright skin from the first use with continued use complexion appears smoother refined and even and i definitely definitely say what they're saying or the claims that they're putting on the bottle is true Definitely within the first use of it, you will see and feel a difference. Um, this is from the body shop, not that expensive, but um, oh, and this is 4.9 US fluid ounce, which is 145 ml, which is a lot of product you're getting for the price, and you don't need a lot of this, so this is gonna last you a while. Next thing is from the body shop as well, it is the body shop vitamin e serum in oil this is what it looks like um it is 28 ml so 0.94 ounces and it's for all skin types it is in a dropper bottle like so and i've been loving this loving this as a like a bottom moisturizer when i say bottom i mean under my actual um moisturizer that i use so mostly in the nights i'll use this and if i know i'm not going anywhere during the day i will put this on in the morning as well so i put this over the lips as well just pretty much halfway if not more down than halfway almost empty got this back in february as well love it the scent of it is great the price the price wasn't too bad either um yeah definitely recommend this next product is from Cosmedica. It is a pure hyal hyaluronic acid serum. Um, I've been using this back in early February as well and this is pretty much finished. It's like literally at the bottom. Basically what this will do for your skin is add or lock in moisture so it's really really good to use as your first base uh, application on your face for skincare and i love that it's in a dropper bottle as well it's in a dropper bottle um got this off of amazon everything that i got off of amazon i will link down below so you guys can check it out but yeah i've been loving this I already have a replacement that's how much i love it the person who i saw um talked about this was chloe kardashian and i love me some chloe so i just was like let me see if amazon have this and when i went on amazon and checked it out they did and i purchased it right away without any hesitation and I love it. It is not like sticky or oily or anything. It's almost like you're putting it on the face. It's almost like you're putting water on the face. 
it seeps in really fast so I love 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 this I would wash my face and then I would go in with this then the oil or whatever else I'll go on top of it and yeah I've been loving this I don't know if this has been helping me um, with how my skin is looking now so much better not as much breakouts and it doesn't <clears throat> normally around winter time I will get like my the top of my lip will normally get dry or the corners of the nose not since I've been using this I haven't gotten that problem so yay for this definitely recommend it the next thing for skincare is something that people have been talking about non-stop for a while now and I only recently got on that bandwagon which is the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea I believe everyone loves the rose one which I also have I bought both of them around the same time this is the four fluid unks bottle and as you can see let me see if I can show you guys mine is pretty much finished and I got this back in early February this is what it looks like and I'm gonna be very honest this is my favorite spray ever i love this more than the rose water one i just feel like it's just pure rose water and that i have pure rose water i do have that um but i love i don't know for some reason anything that has a spray any facial spray or even a cream or moisturizer for the face that has cucumber in it i just love the scent of that even body lotions um that has the cucumber scent or cucumber inside of it i love it um so this one has aloe cucumber and green tea and the smell of this i love some people say they don't like this one and they prefer the rose one but i prefer this one um as you can see it's almost finished and i have to replace it but basically after i finish washing my face i would spray this on sometimes when i'm about to go to the gym um, i would spray this on the face because just to wake me up and before sometimes before makeup I will spray this on as well so it's like a multi multi user right here for me and I really really like it definitely saw a difference in my skin as well since I've been using this and I know it's because of this so yay I love this and again I recommend this next thing I'm gonna go into is another spray and this is actually a setting spray from Urban Decay and I know you guys know what I'm talking about it's the quick fix setting spray from Urban Decay. This one is definitely hands down one of my favorites that I've used since I've been using Urban Decay sprays only because this one has coconut water inside and I love coconut water drinking it and putting it on the skin. Love it. Um, this one is the Hydra Charged Complexion Prep and Prime Prep Priming Spray with coconut water and some other stuff. I'm not gonna even try to butcher here because I'm gonna literally butcher the names but love this man the smell of this is so good same as with the mario badescu badescu yeah i hope i've said that correctly same as with the mario spray i do spray this before makeup sometimes sometimes even before running out to the gym i would spray this on or even if i'm going out and i'm not wearing any makeup i would spray this on before i go so yeah definitely like this not just as a setting spray but as a prep spray or a pick me up spray i love it for anything I love this the last thing for skincare I did tell you guys I had a lot of skincare stuff but this one definitely definitely out of all the skincare stuff that I just talked about definitely recommend this one this one changed my taking off makeup game big time like a thousand percent time to recommend this this is the Neutrogena Naturals fresh cleansing plus makeup remover so it completely removes makeup and gently cleanses for a refreshingly clean skin this bad boy right here is drugstore and is really 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 good i first got this back in uh was it november or september of last year when i went to jersey i got this in uh cvs and i needed a i actually ran out of my neutrogena wipes that i normally use which is a normal one in the blue package I ran out of that and I needed someone to take off my makeup so I decided to try the liquid version instead and let me just say since then I have not used a makeup wipe since then I've been using just this let me tell you this will take off your liquid lipstick your dip brow your waterproof mascara this will take it off in one go I would normally go in with two to three pumps depends on the you know how much makeup I'm wearing that day 
and basically wet the face first go over to two to three pumps and just like work it in to break the makeup down go over the eyes all over the neck wherever and wash this off and i am telling you this will completely remove all the makeup from your face i have never used a makeup remover that will completely remove all the makeup from your face with one go like normally i would have to go in with a wipe or with a, a cotton pad or something and take off the no this completely removed your eyeliner every everything trust me and this is drugstore i would say it compares to the clinique um you know the clinic balm that you take your makeup off pretty much the same thing but this is in a liquid version it's more like in the line of those kind of makeup removers but this one is so much more affordable so much more cheaper it's just all natural and oh my god you guys this is really 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 good man listen listen get this please get this please this is the best thing since shoestrings this is what it looks like if you guys didn't catch it in the first go but I definitely suggest you guys checking your CVS, maybe Walmart, and so on out and picking up one of this and trying it and then letting me know whether you like it or not because I love this. I have three more bottles. That's how much I love this. Oh, and I also use it sometimes to clean my beauty blender, which I feel cleans very, very well as well. I would go like two, two to three pumps on my beauty blender depending on how dirty the beauty blender is and it cleans it very well. Um, the bottle that I bought back in November or September it only just finished today and this is a brand new bottle and I have two more in there so that lasted a pretty pretty long time from November to now we're in March so that lasted a long time um, maybe if you wear makeup a lot more than I do then it might not last as long for you but it's really good you guys definitely try it out this has six fluid ounces so 177 ml you can get this on Amazon that's where I get my replacements from if you can't get a CVS or whatever close by so definitely check this out go into makeup finally so the first thing I'll go in with is my primer the primer I've been loving not only for the whole month of February, but since I've gotten it, is the Fenty Beauty Primer. This is what it looks like. I know a lot of you already know what it looks like because this shit is going crazy hype all over the internet. As you can see, there is a bit of spacing in mine, and that is because it's about to finish or it's, you know, it's going down there. So which means I've been using it a lot. Definitely recommend this one. It's a good one. Smells great, feels great, and yeah definitely recommend this one this thing is concealer i've been using the tarte shape tape uh, concealer i've been late on the bandwagon with this i got this um i want to say early february no early this year but i've been using it a lot um in february i got this is the shade tan sand i actually have two shades other shades in deep but that one is more close to my complexion so i use the tan sand for more highlighting purposes but I love it. I love. I actually love the smell of it. No one actually talks about the smell, but I love the smell of it. I love the applicator. It's so nice and big because your girl like big things. And <laughs> the concealer itself is really good. It blends out so nicely. It's full coverage, and you can't go wrong with Tarte Ship Tape. This thing is a trio palette. It's from Real Her. It's a Be Fearless, Be Limitless blush kit. And this is what the outside, let me show you the outside first. This is what the outside packaging looks like. This is what the blush inside of the palette looks like. Now, the pink shade I don't use because it has a lot of glitter in it. But these two shades are the shades that I always grab. Um, that is what I'm using on the face right now. You know I'm not a blush person. I don't go ham on my blush because I don't like too much of a clown look. But I go in very lightly with my blushes. But these two blushes are really nice. They're more like powdery. And this is a this is a palette that I got off of BoxyCharm. So hint hint, get BoxyCharm. The next thing is from Pure Cosmetics. It's their bronze and brighten um, trio palette. This is what the outside looks like. And very nice packaging for Pure as well. And this is what the product inside looks like really really good this is the bronzer highlighter and a blush and i use all three of these 
all three of these I use especially the highlighter and the bronzer Yo, I use all of them so this is what they look like so freaking pigmented so pigmented and it blends so nicely on the skin no issue with blending or pigmentation everything is just on point again another box charm product the next thing is an oldie but it's a definite goodie um, this is from Anastasia it is the dip brow pomade in chocolate that is the shade that I usually use the reason why I put this on the back burner for use uh, of using it is because mine had actually dried out and if you look at it I do have quite a lot of product in here but mine had dried out until I finally remembered and decided to pick up the Inglot uh, Duraline drops which looks which looks like this um, I know you guys know what this look like it's in a dropper bottle as you can see it looks pretty full even though I've been using it a lot because you don't need a lot of this so these two together I've been loving and not only just together but Duraline itself is really good you can use it in any liquid any product that is drying up for you whether it's a mascara or like a dip brow or even a pot liner or anything that dried up you just put like a drop or two of your jewel line and it will literally bring it back to life two products that i've been loving for february especially the jewel line and i'm back into the dip brow game the next thing is this lip liner from jante blue yes you know every time i say it i have to laugh because that sounds funny but this is in the shade brown sugar this is what the liner looks like and the end here gives you the shade of what the liner is that is what I'm wearing on my lips today. By the way, the blush, the dip brow, everything that I'm talking about, pretty much makeup-wise, I'm wearing on the face today. Um, yeah, I really like the liner because I love the color of it and it's very creamy. It's not too creamy to where it breaks when you're using it and it's not too dry to where you have to like really press on it to get pigmentation. It's really pigmented, really creamy-ish and it's really good. I really love it. Since we're on the lip page right now I'll talk about the KKW lip gloss this one is in the shade rose gold so this is what the packaging looks like this was dropped back in December I believe they pick up three shades in this so you basically got the lip gloss and the I don't know was it the pigment or the glitter to go with the lip gloss this one is in rose gold the applicator is pretty nice I really like the applicator it's like a bent um, applicator very small and pointy there is no scent absolutely no scent to this and I really like the gloss it's like any regular gloss except it's not the sticky gloss and this particular shade rose gold doesn't have that much glitter in it um, but yeah I do have three other shades a total of six because each gloss comes with a pigment a matching pigment and I really really like this the only issue I have with this one is that it pulls more like a yellow gold than a rose gold especially especially the pigment but this I normally would throw in my gym bag and I would use like to go to the gym so basically that's what I would use this lip gloss for it's it's I love the packaging it's very nice and sturdy and it's like a hard plastic I love the packaging and I love the color of the packaging so I never really actually talked about this even though I got this since back in early January but I've been using it a lot especially this shade next product is not a newie but it's a goodie something that I've rediscovered in my makeup collection you guys when you have a shit ton of makeup like you forget about things that you have that you loved because you're trying new things all the time I was forgetting about the good the good things that you have in your collection so I rediscovered this back in early February um, this is the wet and wild highlighter this is one of their famous highlighters that they came out with I'm not sure when don't ask me but this one is in the shade um, crown of my canopy <clears throat> love this shade and it looks so nice on my skin tone it pulls more like a peach pink shade so this is what it looks like on the back of the hand this is what the shade looks like it pulls more of a peachy pinky shade but nevertheless I love the shade and I've been using it quite a lot since um, February to now actually so yeah definitely definitely love this highlighter 
and it's affordable so you can't beat that next thing is from studio makeup now if you guys notice i've been talking quite a lot about um boxycharm stuff because boxycharm has been killing the game with their stuff um so this is also a boxycharm product this is what it looks like this is from the brand studio makeup it's a loose translucent setting powder and as you can see mine is almost finished and i have other loose setting powders in there and i'm not using them i really really like it it comes with a sifter on top which you know we all can appreciate at all times when we get a sifter in loose products um yeah really really like this um setting powder you don't get any flash flashback with it or white cast from it so it's a good one next thing is a color switch so so random right and this is what the packaging got this off of amazon really really love this and definitely been coming in use for my makeup tutorials especially when i need to use the same brush and switch it out it just switched the color of the brush real quick and so i can use it back again so this is this is a pretty good buy and i think any makeup artist or youtuber that does makeup definitely needs this color switch in your collection definitely fine oh no we're not done i have two more things oh i thought this was the last thing the second to last thing is some lashes now these definitely i got in mid february these are from socialize first time using socialize lashes by the way their packaging is cute as hell um this is in the in the shade this is in the style i woke up like this this is what the packaging looks like and this is what the style of the lashes look like as well these are such pretty pretty lashes so lightweight and not too heavy feeling on the eyes and i love this style i think i got another style can't remember what it is i'm lazy to go into the drawer but um yeah i've been using this style in pretty much all my recent makeup tutorials this is the style of lashes i've been wearing now the last thing is not makeup related it's actually gym related I got these back in mid february these are what we called knee sleeves so this is what these look like and now i'm going to add in something gym related in my videos so in my favorite videos because i'm such a gym rat so this is a knee sleeve basically as it says you put it on your knees and ugh, i have it inside out because that's how you because that's how you want to put this on when you're putting it on that's an easier way to put it on rather than pulling it up from the right side um, it's from the brand Husky. Got this off of Amazon. Love this knee sleeve. This has definitely made me push harder in my squat game in the gym. The material is a little on the stretchy side, but it's very thick. And this definitely will make you sweat. Your knees sweat, so just be aware of that. Um, yeah, the material is good. I had it since back in early February. And I haven't gotten any rips, tears, shrink coming out anywhere. And it's been holding up pretty well and been working pretty well as well. This is in a size small that I got. Um, now I'm going to show you or tell you guys how you would put on, properly put on a knee sleeve. So first of all, you want to put it inside out. You might want to have it inside out. And the smallest part of the knee sleeve, which is the part will be at the bottom part, like under your knee. Um you want to put your foot in from that part so you put your feet in from the smallest hole of the knee sleeve and you want to pull this up over your calf area so the back of your knee so below your knee above your calf if that makes any sense and so you're going to have it like pretty much like this and you want to make sure that the logo on the inside is going to be where you want it to sit on your like your above your knee so once you have it over your knee you're over but once you have it below your knee, above your knee, your calves, your your calf, you're gonna hold the bottom, which is gonna be the bigger part of the knee sleeve, and pull it up. You're gonna end up with it like on the correct side, and whatever piece is fold, left fold down, like below your knee, you're just gonna, you know, raise it up, and that's pretty much a correct way to put on a knee sleeve. I'll see if I can do a video to show you guys if you're interested but I just wanted to throw that in there of Amazon as well and it did the brand did send a cute card which I think was so 
so nice for the company coming from Amazon and all that. So I got the knee sleeve, they sent a, a card, came in a nice little packaging and they also sent a drawstring, um, you know those drawstring bags with their logo on it. Everything I talked about here today, if I can find them, I will link them down below in my description box so you can check that out. Anyway, that's it. That is my February favorites or products that I've been loving for the month of February. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want me to continue my favorites video, then leave a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that you want me to continue these uh, monthly favorites video. It will be a mixture of stuff, so it's not just beauty related. It's gonna be skincare or beauty stuff. It's gonna be gym stuff, maybe even sometime food or whatever like that. I will include in my favorites video if you're not already subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button on your way up you go um, remember to hit that notification bell as well which will let you guys know when i upload future videos and i will catch you guys in a later video bye guys